everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and I'm here to review Whiplash. So Whiplash stars Miles Teller and J.K. Simmons, and the story is about this guy who is getting into drumming. He wants to be the best that he can be. J.K. Simmons plays his very abusive teacher who just pushes people like no other teacher has even pushed them. He will call you names, he will crush your spirits, but because of J.K. Simmons just pushing Miles Teller to the point where he is just so sick of this guy. He is trying to become the best that he can be. So he could basically just tell that teacher, fuck you. So going into Whiplash, I was very excited for this movie. I had to wait a very long time, and that's what I hate about these indie films sometimes. You know, some indie films come to my area just like that, but there are some where I, I have to wait a long ass time for them to come to my area. After I've seen Whiplash, Holy shit! Whiplash is one of the most intense, mind-gripping movies I've seen in 2014. Miles Teller and J.K. Simmons, they are both fantastic. The two actors alone give it their all. Miles Teller makes this movie work because I hear that he actually plays the drums in real life. And the fact that this movie is all Miles Teller just drumming is truly brilliant and the fact that miles teller alone is willing to cut out blood because there's actually scenes where blood's coming out of him because he's just drumming so hard the fact that this actor was willing to do that while actually filming this movie holy shit he does a really good job with the drumming he makes it believable he makes every second of him drumming very intense and he just makes it work. Miles Teller was amazing, and I admire and totally respect the amount of hard work it took him to get those beats. J.K. Simmons, holy shit, this guy, he is so abusive and he is really intimidating. This is just an antagonist in a movie about a boy drumming. You know, it's not one of those antagonists where I'm all like, I'm gonna rule the world, I'm gonna kill people. No, this guy's antagonist as in he will crush your spirits, he will make you cry, he won't even have sympathy for you if you cry. He just says, get the fuck out of here, he'll call him names like that. He just goes so far to the point where you're just like, God damn dude, you feel like sometimes Sometimes he actually enjoys calling students names. One of the most menacing, most intense antagonists I've seen in a very long time. And you've heard it in other reviews, but he's basically um, James Jonas Jameson from the Spider-Man movies, but 10 times worse. I'm serious. If this guy and J. Jonas Jameson were face to face with each other, I bet you J. J Jonas Jameson would have screamed like a little girl and ran out. That's how mean this guy is. The storyline is very well written. It's fantastic. The writing is brilliant. Miles Teller really wants to just become a great drummer and willing to sacrifice anything just so he could be the best that he can be. It's a very well executed movie. The pacing never feels like it was rushed or it was dragging. It kept my attention from beginning to end. The cinematography is absolutely gorgeous. Also, me actually being quite a fan of jazz music, I actually really even loved the jazz music that was put into this film. I thought it was very well done. It was catchy. I would find myself moving around to the jazz music that was going along. The finale was just really mind gripping. It had my attention. I'm just like this the entire time I'm watching the finale because it was so intense. It was the finale the movie needed, it was the finale the movie deserved, and it was the finale that the movie pulled off so well. I only have a couple of minor issues, which are basically nitpicks. Now, one of my nitpicks with Whiplash, honestly, is Miles Teller's girlfriend. Now, I actually really like the girlfriend. I actually thought she was very likable. She's just one of those girlfriends where she just comes in and out, and that was it. And as intense the finale was. How the finale cuts to the end credits just felt a little abrupt. Like, you know, the movie ends and then out of nowhere, cuts to end credits and you're like, what? Oh my God. 
Oh my god. Whoa, and credits. Okay, um, well, that was abrupt. Overall, Whiplash is one of the best movies I've seen in 2014. So I'm going to give Whiplash, of course, four out of four stars. It is a near perfect movie. And if you haven't seen Whiplash, I highly recommend it. So you guys, if you have seen Whiplash, let me know in the comments down below. What did you think of Whiplash? This is 22 Tiger Dude, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.